Hi and welcome to Down the Shed with me Jason. In this video I'm going to try something different. I'm actually going to try recording as much of this video directly on the laptop via the editing software I use. I, I've got NCH video pad or something. That's what I've been using. So, um, we'll see you in a moment. Right, so on the table you can see we've got a bunch of 1K resistors. I think it's uh, a 2K and a 10K. They're 102s, 103s, I can't remember what they were. 202s or something like that. Um, through hole LEDs, 10 red 3 mils. We've got two ICs, connector pin, a variable resistor, a couple of capacitors. All this is SMD, these bits are through hole, and the circuit board, so the LEDs are all running in a line. Now, we know I like to shake it up and change LEDs, so we know these are going in the parts bin pretty much soon. I'll stop binning them full stop, I'll have hundreds. But there's a twist, and the twist is... I've got a bunch of 3mm clear LEDs and it just happens to be ten in the box. So they're all the colours. Bring this a bit closer. Where's this bloody going? Backwards on the screen. So there's all the colours. And because they're clear, I'll literally chuck these in the parts bin over here. You can't see it. You've seen it before. And uh, they'll come out as random potluck. So we'll have fun with that. So let's get on. And uh, Oh, and there's another surprise awaiting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is all these 1Ks is I'm going to put a blob of solder. I might get the... Uh, little cuticle stick thing out and put a dollop of this in a pot or something and just put a blob of solder on each one of those right I'll just do these and then I'll come back to you right that's all the uh, resistors along here pasted so we'll get those out and pop those on actually no we won't I'm going to paste along these uh, microchips because you'll see my little surprise that's probably too much I might scrape that one off and do it again Right, the board, as you can see, is populated. It's not yet uh, soldered. They're still paste. The ICs are both on. Okay. So uh, let's get the magic new solution. Right, well, right, welcome to Down the Shed. As you can see, we've populated the board, and now we're going to solder it. So this isn't my unique idea. This is an idea I've got off YouTube. There was, a, I can't remember the YouTuber or the video. It was a while ago now and a lot of videos. Um, he compared a solder oven with a hot air gun and this method that we're going to do. So we'll put the pan over the oven. We'll get that puppy warm. Burn. And we'll see you in a moment. Right, it's been on for a minute or so now, full heat, so I'll try a blob of solder on the uh, sand. Looks like part of it is actually melting. actually melted so that is now hot enough so what I'm going to do is drop this circuit board 
There's a flying thing there. Yeah, you jumped into there, mate. Right, let's turn this down now. I don't think we need that on anymore. And we'll drop this board in there. And I need to figure out a way to get that up quick. See solder melting. Some more warmth. I can see some down here have melted. A bit more heat underneath it. That's there. We go. We're all going now. See that one's gone. That one's gone. See you in a bit. like it's done so I need to try and carefully get that off there and that's going to be bloody hot and we'll put that on my metal ruler so obviously there's not a lot I can do now until that's cooled down so we'll see you in a moment there's 10 LEDs I need 10 LEDs so that's one that's two and 10 so that's 10 of my precious little leds there you go there's you 10 of my precious leds in the pot i can have a random mix so we don't know where what is some are different voltages so we don't know and they've all disappeared underneath they run away and hid so we don't know which ones are going to flash bright and dim or whatever we don't know if it's going to be like a running light. I guess it's a running light. So, uh, let's have a bit of fun with it. I'm going to need the lights. And, uh, you can't even see that. Right, so. Little camera. Right, so here's the board. It's not going to fit comfortably in this while I do all those LEDs. So what I'm going to do, I'm not even sure what voltage it is. Start with three and see what happens. I will bang five into it, what the hell. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, bang these LEDs in and then we'll come back. Right, so that's the board mounted in the Howell pin hands of the ever trusty Hollif soldering station. Right, I've got five of the LEDs in and the variable resistor. I just need to plug solder iron in. Right, iron's warmed up, so it's good. Right, the iron's warmed, fluxed, cleaned and tinned. Making sure, because they're not totally clear on the LEDs on this one. So there's an arrow with a line on it. The one with the line should be the negative, like I've done here. I hit these with some flux after and we re blah, re warm them. Let's get that done as well. The variable resistor. We go so we snip those right so that's all the uh or half of the leds on rather 
the variable resistors in. We dab that off like so. I'm liking that. That's a good work. I'd still, yeah, there's a pin here in there. Okay, that's all uh, 10 LEDs on the board, the variable resistors on the two chips. Everything's been soldered. I've uh, double checked it, a couple of the resistors on this end have been touched up and that capacitor here has been touched up. Apart from that, that method works. I mean, it, even if you have to touch them up, they're there, they're soldered, it's flipping awesome. So I'm gonna use that on that clock, that 248 LED clock I've got. That's the method I'm gonna use. The chips I'll have to use drag soldering on, but um, that's another video. So well, let's get this fired up. Well, because my phone's died and we started on the laptop, we may as well finish on the laptop. So uh, you'll notice there's one LED missing. I've totally knobbed that one up, uh, trying to desolder it as it didn't work. It might have been the LED. You can see the yellow one on the end. So I knew the yellow, that's the one that takes the most voltage. So I knew the yellow wasn't going to be very good, but that was one from each of the bins. The UV one works, so we didn't waste that really. That's the one at the top where my hand is. So uh, yeah, the uh, just in case you're wondering, it adjusts the speed as we saw it would. and go to silly speed. Computer might not pick that up. Or we can slow it back down. Let's slow it right down again. I don't know if the computer picked any of that up. But they're now sort of running one length per second instead of like four lengths per second or more. But yeah, neat little kit. The SMD worked out well. It was the through hole bit that I screwed up in the end. Totally happy with the uh, sand on a camping stove technique. That worked a treat. So um, leave a like below, any comments, what you think of the uh, SMD soldering, multi-soldering at once technique. We will be trying that with 248 LEDs soon. So uh, subscribe, hit the uh, all videos button notifications and uh, see you in the next video.